Print Studios. Hey everybody, it's Bam Bam, and welcome back to Guitar for Beginners. This is lesson number two, and it's all about the fingers. All right, guys, before we get started, I just wanna thank you for watching these videos, and hopefully they're helping you out become a guitar player. And I uh, just wanna let you know that the guitar is a wonderful instrument to play. Um, I enjoy it. Um, of course, there are people out there that have a hard time and struggle with um, the guitar. Um, we call those guys bass players. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Uh, but yeah, if you find this is difficult, the bass guitar is an option for you. But uh, I say stick with it, see if you like it. Um, so uh, we went over last week the fretboard, all the notes and what they're called and where they're at. Um, just a refresher, we uh, have the musical alphabet starting with A, A sharp, B, remember there's no B sharp, go to C, C sharp, D, D sharp, E, no E sharp, F, F sharp, G, and then G sharp, and then we go back to A. And just remember that it's all up and down the fretboard, if you remember that. All right. And then uh, this lesson, lesson number two, is what you're going to be using all the time playing the guitar is your fingers. Um, most people are right-handed, so the left hand is going to be doing most of the work up and down the fretboard. And then your right hand, I have a pick in my hand, is going to be strumming. Um, you can, not, you can use a pick or you can use your fingers. Uh, it's your preference. Uh, but for this lesson, I'm gonna use a pick and uh, suggest you do the same. Till you get uh, used to the guitar and how it feels and all that good stuff. That's the reason why I wanted to bring this lesson up here at the beginning, uh, lesson number two, is that um, you need to take care of your fingers and you also need to loosen them up every time uh, you want to play. So this is a good exercise to do um, from now on. Um, I, I failed to do this and I should do this exercise more, especially before I play guitar, is get your fingers loose and stretchy so they'll go up and down uh, the fretboard and you won't uh, get into any injuries. You will find though, once you start playing the guitar, that the tips of your fingers are going to get all indented and uh, scabby and tough in, you know, in the long run. So that's just normal um, because of the pressure you put on the strings. So, and you'll find that more, uh, especially with acoustic guitars, because the stringers are high, the strings are a higher action is what they call it. So you have to press down harder as opposed to electric guitar. So if you want to strengthen your fingers, I suggest practicing on an acoustic guitar, um, this lesson that we're going to go over today. When you start uh, out, you want to stretch out your fingers. Um, there's no tried and true, I mean, there's no right or wrong, as long as you're not causing any pain. Um, this is what I do, is I stretch them out and then, you know, push them forward like that, like that, stretch them as far as I can especially the left hand because that's where all your work is going to be doing. So, you know, take a few minutes, um, get your fingers loose, and then you should be ready to go. All right, so once we do that, what we want to do is go up the fretboard. We're just going to use our fingers, and this is a good exercise to go along with um, the fretboard learning uh, the notes again and you just get it into your head. So what I'd like to do, and again, like I said, this is something you probably want to do um, from now on. Uh, it's called a warming up. And also being a new guitarist is going to get you a feel of the guitar and how your fingers relate to the uh, strings in the fretboard. So we'll start with the E string, the low E. And just what I want to do is show you is kind of stretch it out so your first finger is on the first fret. So just try that real quick, you know, just E, 
F. You can go back and forth like that uh, if you'd like. Um, and then you'll just get familiar with what the notes are while you're doing this. So you're killing two birds with one stone. And I think you'll be a better guitarist for doing this because it's going to just come naturally. Uh, what they call muscle memory. So you just do that. And then you feel comfortable, let's go to the F sharp, the second fret on the first string. And then let's put them all together. E, F, F sharp. And then we're going to add the G. E, F sharp, F, <laughs> F sharp, G. So just do that again. E, F, F sharp, G. And then we're going to add the G sharp. E, F, F sharp, G. And this one might be a little bit tricky because of your pinky. It doesn't like to cooperate all the time. But try to squeeze it over to the fourth fret. And there's your G sharp. And also, as you see these um, markings, the frets, you want to get as close to that with your finger as you can because you're going to get the best sound out of it. So you get kind of a wobbly if you're doing towards the top in the middle. The best sound is to get right there. And this will take practice. So that's what this lesson's all about uh, for the next week. Or actually, pretty much forever. <laughs> it's a good exercise to get to know the fretboard and get your fingers, uh, getting them ready for guitar action, strengthening them up. So let's do that again. E, F, F sharp, G, G sharp. And you also want to kind of kind of curl your fingers so they stay up instead of like that because then you kind of get a flat sound. So you want to try to use the tip of your fingers um, below the fingernails. Also, you need to keep your fingernails uh, cut pretty short, especially on your left hand um, to play the guitar. Um, I don't have mine long to show you, but uh, it will interfere with your um, guitar playing. So th that's just something to keep in mind also. So we got that down. And just practice that for a while. And then when you feel comfortable, you can drop down to the A string. A sharp. B. Remember there's no B sharp. C. D. So I know it's going to take some time to get your fingers used to doing this, but this is the best exercise to do that. So just So just go, go down all the strings doing that, and then when you feel comfortable, then we can go backwards. And remember to um, say the notes out loud. Um, that really helps uh, get it into your memory. And remember, you've got two E strings, so you're a third of a way there. So you, you, you know... So that's really nice to know that these are always going to be the same. So if you forget, just remember that this one, is, it's the same as that one. That's an F. That's an F. F sharp, F sharp. They're just an octave, an octave between them. Um, so it's really good to do that. So it's going to be a, a G sharp. G, F sharp, F, A, and just keep on doing that. Once you go down,
so that right there that we just did, I want you guys to practice that for um, half the week if you want. And then the next half, the latter half of it is going up. Up the strings. Backwards. So that's the left hand. That'll get you going. It might seem overwhelming, but just take your time and just be patient with yourself. You'll get it if you just put the time in, okay? You'll get it. So let's go to the right hand. What are we doing with the right hand? Well, I'm holding the pick between my thumb and my pointy finger, and then I kind of loosely loosely have it uh, resting on my middle finger and then the rest of them there and what you want to do is if you you kind of want to keep your it's going to be really hard as a beginner to do this but you want to keep it the rest of your hand off off of the uh, off of the strings you don't really want this because you're going to just deaden it so what you want to do it's kind of lifted up and then you're just going to kind of rest your fingers. Well, this is what I do. So you can take some time in practicing that also. And then back up. So then you put it all together, you're going to be like this. And then And again, just remember to help yourself out is name the notes as you're hitting them. That's a D sharp. That's an E. You know, so on and so forth. And that gets you in the habit and gets you really to learn what everything is. So this is a really good exercise to use with last week's exercise. So that's what you got. Um, I know this is probably going to take you a while, but that's okay. That's okay. Unless you're a, a vir virtuoso, it, everybody takes practice. Everybody has to go through this. So it's fun. I hope it's fun. Um, just stay with it. Like I said, we're just starting. Um, what I'd like for you guys to do also, if you would or if you could, is you should um, do like a, um, a video diary. Um, videotape yourself starting like this week on your guitar playing and then maybe every week see how you progress and then after a month see how you've progressed after two months and that would be cool to see that that maybe down the road you guys can send me the before and the afters videos and that would be awesome uh, so that's pretty much it that's going to be a big long hard lesson but this is how you're going to start to play the guitar all right guys if you have any questions Feel free to put a comment in there. Um, I'll leave my email address. Um, it should be 
somewhere over here. Oh, okay, there it is. So there's my email address. And don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, uh, let me know how I'm doing, and also hit the bell button so you'll know when the next lesson comes out. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and uh, see you next week.